I'm sorry? What did you just say? I wanted to tell you something. What is it? Are you going to ask me out or something? Is it that thing where you're too shy to ask a girl out so you tease her? <laughs> Take that! What? Thanks to you, my boss doesn't like me anymore! It's your damn kimono taking all the glory around the office! In this class, we listen to our students' problems and give them proper advice to help them out. I'm so excited! I wonder how they're going to solve today's problems. Well, you know, I'm usually the one that solves problems around here, right? Honestly, I usually want to stop these problems before they even happen. That's why I'm here today, to learn how to manage risk. I used to work at an advertising company while studying to become a doctor. I don't mean this as a brag, but I was very good at my job and used to be at the top of my branch. Due to that, I usually neglected how I looked in public. That's why I was bullied by one of my co-workers, Nabu. Hey, you! I'm talking to you, pathetic four eyes! What is it? I'm trying to work here. I know the company allows informal attire, but wearing pajamas? I'm surprised you even came here in the first place. Are you like dumb or something? I came here with my bicycle, so I guess I was too fast for anyone to care. You came here with a bicycle in those clothes? Ha 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 ha. You know even the delivery guys dress better than you. I don't know what's so funny. Here. I have a perfect assignment for you. Do all this by the end of the day. What? All this? It should be easy for someone with a doctorate. You can make a robot to help you. <sighs> Do your job by yourself. Do you want to talk to me like that? I'm your boss, you know. You just kissed other people's asses to get there. You're just a company dog. How dare you say that to me! Ow! You just hit me! I expect you to be done by the end of the day! Nobuo was recruited by the company at the same time I was, but despite his failure to do any competent work, he still managed to become my boss. He was good at reading people, which made him the best yes-man in the company. As a result, he got his promotion before me, which made him even bossier than he was. He would spend most of his time making my life a living hell. One day, there was a company-wide competition. I was always dead last in these competitions. I decided to put more effort in this year, when suddenly... Are you still working? I'm going to do better in the competition this year. Oh, how unfortunate. You're wasting your effort. Huh? Why is that? You do realize these competitions are rigged, right? What do you mean? This year, it's either me or Miki who's gonna win. Why? It's because Miki is becoming more and more famous around the office. She's cute and has a smoking hot body. What? But isn't the competition on the content of the presentation? What does looks have to do with anything? I guess I should tell you. The most important thing in this company is looking. You're too ugly to win anything! Then how were you able to get promoted? I actually go out to drinks with the judge often. You don't even know how much I brown nose to get up here. I would have never talked to those old guys if it wasn't for the promotion. So you really did nothing in terms of work? That can't be right. You still don't get it? This is a competition for how much the judges like you. People like you who actually do work, they get less attention than others who look better. See, no wonder how he's losing the first round. I heard Miki is also working hard behind the scenes. There's a rumor going around of infidelity and whatnot. Why do people want to go that far? Winning these competitions puts you at the forefront of promotion. Looking good in these competitions will put you on the radar of people like Uimoto. 
I'll go as far as to say he holds all the keys to the promotion. I always thought Uemoto was one of the good ones. I guess I was wrong. Maybe I should quit this job. Oh, go ahead! One less rival for me! If you quit, I don't have to look at your ugly face daily! Look who's talking! Maybe you're just lying to make me quit. It wasn't a lie! If you're doubting me, you should try presenting with your swimsuit! Maybe then you'll be able to win! What are you saying? But I'd rather not see you in a swimsuit. Did you really have to say that? I was now doubting the absolute integrity of the competition. That's why I decided to wear the most informal clothing to the competition, which was... This will conclude my presentation. I see. I have no idea what he was saying, but looking at you reminds me of yesterday's barbecue party. Thank you so much, Mr. Emoto. All according to my plan. You'll be pleased to know about this year's winner. Next up, Akasi. Don't go too harsh on her. <laughs> I bet she's gonna be here in her pajamas again. It'll be funny if she has stains on her pajamas too. Hello. But what are you wearing? I can wear anything, right? Y yeah, but... Why are you wearing a kimono? Aren't you supposed to be low maintenance? Well, I decided to dress up for today. And to commemorate that, I'm wearing a kimono I wore at my coming of age ceremony. And your glasses! You look amazing! I decided to wear my kimono to the presentation, and the judges were looking at me instead of my presentation the whole way through. They were so impressed with my looks, they awarded me first place on the spot. Everyone around the office suddenly started acting nice towards me, which made me decide to wear it every day for work. I would love to see you in your kimono. Well, there was an incident that made me hate the company. After the competition, I decided to wear my kimono once every week to commemorate the day. I thought I was on my way to getting the promotion I deserved. That girl. She's always wearing her kimono. Yeah, other girls are thinking about it too. You might be losing your spot soon. What? You realize we are an ad agency, right? It's all about looks. You're just... too normal? Damn it! Hey, you! What is it? Stop acting like you're better than me! You don't even look good in your kimono! Huh? Really? I swear I saw you looking at me during lunch break. No way! From now on, no more kimonos in the office! Why? You're going to make fun of me after I stop wearing these. This kimono helps me feel more confident around the office. Disgusting! Pajamas suit you better, you introvert! Okay, okay. Talking to you is just a waste of time. Damn it! Is there any way I can break her? Oh, I know! Hey, you! I know you're free! What is it? I'm busy, unlike you. Oh, how smart! I forgot you're a doctor. What do you want? Are you secretly in love with me or something? No! Then what do you want? Are you gonna wear your kimono tomorrow? Yeah, are you happy? Come to the conference room tomorrow morning. This is an order! So you do like me. Please don't ask me out. You'll see. Ew! Hi, what do you want? I would like to tell you something. What is it? Are you going to ask me out? Are you those people that tease the girl because you like her? Ha <laughs> Take that! Huh? Thanks to you, my boss doesn't like me anymore! A 
How dare you? You just ruined my kimono! Well, my job is done. Actually, that stain suits you! Ha ha ha! I'm freezing! What? Open the door! Nope! You'll be locked here, freezing in this conference room! I even put on the AC for you! How dare you! You'll go back to your pathetic self! See ya! I was left in the conference room until one of the workers found me. People began laughing at my dirt-filled kimono. Nobu told everyone that I slipped on my way back to work. People started laughing at me for trying too hard. He ruined your kimono? That guy is the worst! A public enemy of all girls! Right? I really thought he was going to ask you out. Like he did all this so he could keep you for himself or something. Well, he was giving you a lot of extra work and was constantly berating you. I doubt he liked her. And that's what risk management is about. You don't get it. It doesn't matter if he's a pathetic loser, being liked is always lovely. I see. So, what did you do? There's only one way to fix this, with grand revenge plan. Ooh, this is going to be fun. I guess you went back to your old ways. Shh, I want to hear the story. After the incident, I got a cold from being left in the freezing temperatures. I felt sick the whole week and even went to the doctor for treatment. When I got back, I decided to tell what happened to the higher-ups, but... A gassy. What is it, Mr. Uemoto? I heard you told the higher-ups about Nabuo. I'd rather have you not tell them about what happened. Why? He ruined my kimono and made me sick for a week. That may be true, but you don't have any evidence. Can't you just check the security cameras? There's no way Nabuo would do such a thing, you understand? Nothing happened, okay? Nothing happened. The Buwa was my precious junior, so let's just keep this between us. I mean, is it really his fault? You were kind of spitting in his face with your kimono. Then why wouldn't you do anything about it beforehand? And to be honest, why should looks matter? Shouldn't the actual work be more important? A company continuously operates based on looks. An ad agency is all about style and looks. That's why we want our workers to do the same with themselves. That's all. Bye-bye. I see. What a horrible company. Hey! I heard you wanted to talk! Are you gonna ask me out? Here, take this receipt. A receipt? For what? The kimono I wore was from a very expensive brand. It was handmade by a famous designer. I only wore it because I was friends with the store owner so I could rent it at a lower price. Now you have to pay for the damages you caused. Huh? Why do I have to pay? Oh, wait. You don't have any proof. Too bad. I don't have it right now. What do you mean, right now? Did you forget who I was? I'm a damn doctor! What do you mean? I can just get into this company's system. You realize I'm a genius, right? I even have an army of robots that work for me. Maybe I can make some quick buck by telling the media about what happened in this company. But nothing's wrong with this company! Mr. Uemoto told me that this company values its employees' looks over everything else. That's why I was doing well when I was wearing my kimono. So I'm going to leak everything to the public. What? You're just bluffing. You're gonna destroy this company! Good. I'm going to make this company pay. How does that even help you? I'll show this company what a real company looks like. But I can spare you. What do you mean? 
If you pay for the kimono's damages, I won't tell the public about you. Oh, I see. You are lying! You're not a genius, and you don't have the skills to hack the system! A lie? You just wanted me to pay for the kimono! Whew, I was starting to believe you. Why would I lie about this? I wanted to help out a fellow co-worker. No, thank you! Do as you please! See if I care! You ugly bastard! Okay, that's it. You're done for. I'm fine, right? I immediately went to tell the media everything. I told them everything, from the scandal within the company to the favoritism that is played within the company. The magazines were furious as they were one of the company's clients. All the shady stuff that happened within the company was now public. After the news spread, Mr. Umoto and Nobu were immediately fired from the company. Everyone who played into the company's looks culture was fired. Including me. I even hired a lawyer to force Nobu to pay for the damages caused in the kimono. Nobu eventually went into debt due to this. I heard he works as a construction worker to pay it off. As for myself, I'm currently spending my time researching as a doctor. You did it, Hakase! Yeah, although I was fired too. It's not your fault. Yeah! We can't always blame others. That's why I use my time researching for a change. So what was the biggest risk in our situation today? The biggest risk she took in this situation was to use her looks when she was made fun of for it. She should have quit the job before all of this happened. Looks aren't the only important thing. I see. That's it for today's class. Class dismissed.